So, as you said, Neville Sharth, the senior PLO official, is with us uh, here in the studio. Mr. Sharth, thanks for being with us. Let's deal with, with, with what that gentleman uh, that Zainab was speaking to uh, uh, there. He's he, quite angry. He says, w w when is the Palestinian Authority going to pack up and let the Palestinians determine th th their own future? Well, the Palestinians gained a lot when there was a leadership for them called the PLO that was recognized the world as representing them. I mean, a people without a representation uh, is a people that goes nowhere. And I think it's when the world recognized the Palestinian leadership is when we started making progress. We moved from a refugee issue to the issue of a people with a land, with rights, with self-determination and the right to a state. But the PA has lost its, its legitimacy, hasn't it? I mean, as that gentleman says, he, he accuses you of being a puppet regime uh, for the Israeli occupation. Well, I, I, I understand and I forgive him. I think he uh, really misses the point totally. I mean, during these years in the occupied territory, we were able to bring in 250,000 Palestinian refugees inside the West Bank and Gaza, which was a reversal of a 20-year-old uh, uh, deportation every year and, and transfer of Palestinians every year. We were able to create an, a, 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 a personality for the Palestinian that was recognized in the world. We are pushing that today to be an independent state that the world is recognizing. It's, we, it's, it's true what he said, I've heard his last statements, that Today's negotiations looked futile with Mr. Netanyahu. It is futile. And that is why we are out of negotiations. We are out of negotiations into uh, a nonviolent uh, popular struggle, into international actions such as the anti apartheid uh, action of the South Africans. We are into trying to regain our national unity and into building institutions for the state that will come. I mean, this is a strategy that starts from the recognition that today negotiations are going nowhere. I want to ask you about the, the, the Palestine papers. The PA has been very critical today of, of Al Jazeera since our first broadcast 24 hours ago. Have you had an opportunity to look at, at, at the Palestine papers on, on our website? D do you share the belief that they're, that they're a fabrication? Or as Saib Arakat uh, today uh, has been saying that uh, the documents were linked to my office, he, he says. He appears to be coming around to, to the view that they are perhaps genuine. We'll have an investigation, he says, into what happened and I will be subject to, to the force of law, the legal process uh, himself. Uh, do you accept that they're genuine? Well, they probably are. The question is not really, uh, is, is how do you read them? First of all, that of all these papers, only three were papers that officially were submitted to the Israelis. These are called on top non-papers. And they had the motto, nothing is agreed until everything is agreed. Non-binding papers. And therefore, all the papers that we have submitted the Israelis out of all of this 16,000 uh, page mess, are really three papers, one on territory, one on Jerusalem, and one on refugees. And these are non-papers, and the, and the statement is that they are non-binding and that unless everything is agreed, nothing is agreed, number one. But, number two... But have you read them y yourself? You no, say they're probably I, genuine. What do you mean by probably? Well, what I heard yesterday, what I have seen on Al Jazeera, these are statements that looked, looked like, I mean, I don't know, I have not seen them in, in front of me. They looked like they are genuine. The question, they were read out of context, they were read out of the, the proviso that I've just said. Well, we'll put them into context for us. If, they, if they're out of context, well, I mean, I, people I'll can you, go I'll, on and... I'll, and, give you and two, I'll give you two examples. There's one statement yesterday that uh, 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 proclaimed that Mr. Uh, Arakat said, I'll do any, anything, but I will never become a Zionist. Well, this was really, if, if, if the paper, I recall the paper in which this was mentioned, this was in response to the question, would you recognize Israel as a Jewish state? And he said, no, I will never do because I will never be a Zionist. But that was not mentioned in the, in the paper yesterday. Another one, there was a statement that Ms. Livni said to, uh, to Mr. Uh, Arakat or to Mr. Krea, I, will not, I do not want to discuss Jerusalem. Cut, as if this was the statement. But Ms. Livni went on discussing Jerusalem for months. And therefore, this is what I mean out of context. And secondly, out of, of, out of the, the proper assessment of what these papers are. 
they are non-papers and they are non-binding and they do not form the body of an agreement until there is a full agreement reached. We have not reached the agreement, neither in Camp David, nor in Taba, nor in uh, uh, Annapolis, nor in, in these negotiations with Ms. Livni and, 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 and Mr. Olmer. None, and in fact, we are today out of these negotiations, saying that if Israel did not implement what was first done in the interim agreements, how can we trust that Israel will ever be able to implement the, or willing to implement the, a new final uh, permanent states agreement? I, I just want to bring you back to, to you, were, you were talking about something being out of context there, and you were quoting from what you'd heard on Al Jazeera yesterday. This is, is the actual quote. Sayyid Barakat says, we've never denied Israel's right to define itself. Uh, if you want to call yourself the Jewish State of Israel, you can call it what you want. That's, yeah, but that's taken yeah, from now. But there documents. was a, another paper yesterday that was presented after that, and obviously there is a disconnect between these two, two statements in which he said, I will never be a Zionist. This is in response to what? This is in response to a question about recognizing Israel as a Jewish state. Israel can call itself what it wants, that's what he said. But we will not recognize uh, that statement about Israel because it jeopardizes our people in, uh, in Israel, the Palestinians in Israel, and it jeopardizes the right of our refugees. It's very simple. 24 hours ago, we found it very difficult to, to get any comment at all uh, from the, 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 the PA. Uh, we had Saeb Erekat uh, speaking on our, our Arabic uh, sister network he was very very angry at the time and then uh, no, nothing no no one wanted to say anything there was there was complete complete denial it seems today you're here uh, is this a damage limitation exercise no no i am really trying to respond to what had happened what had happened is for 10 years now we're going into the 11th year we have been discussing permanent status negotiations and we got nowhere because of israeli intransigence we have committed ourselves to nothing except our very clear principles on land, it will be the land of 1967 occupied in the West Bank and Gaza. It was clearly in the papers that you pre presented in your Arabic version that this includes the Dead Sea, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the no-fire zone, uh, Gaza, Jerusalem. It includes all of those. And it's very clear that if we are going to make very limited swaps, it's going to be one to one, and that these swaps have conditions upon them, and that refugees have a right to return and to be compensated, and no, no figures were, were ever really discussed or agreed with Israel. It's clear that, that the Palestine Papers, the release of the Palestine Papers, has, has triggered a lot of anger. Uh, among not just Palestinians, but people who, pair, who care passionately about uh, the well-being of people in the region right around, around the world. What do you think the long-term impact will be on the Palestinian Authority? Is, is the, the, the PA the right body to be negotiating on behalf of Palestinians wherever they may be? There is no other body. This is the body that the Palestinian people have chosen. Every negotiating experience... But, but does it, it have a legitimacy anymore? They do. I mean, if, if the question about delayed elections because of the separation we have between here and Gaza does not negate the legitimacy of the PLO as the representative of the Palestinian people. Every negotiating experience really had to go to the Palestine National Con Congress, it, the, the, the Madrid negotiating, the, uh, the, Vienna, the uh, uh, Oslo negotiations, the Y River negotiations. Each one of them was passed by the Palestine National Con uh, Congress. And now, if there is going to be a permanent settlement negotiations, it's going to go to a plebiscite, to a referendum, where the Palestinians, and I repeat, inside and outside the, uh, Palestine will have the right to vote on them. And before they accept them, there will be absolutely no agreement with Israel. Nabil Shah, many thanks indeed.